7, turn in drugs to any police station in Hamilton County and get immunity from prosecution. That policy began last month to fight the heroin epidemic. And tonight, the Hamilton County Sheriff says the immunity clause is working. Not on your signs, Ashley Zilka joins us live from the Justice Center with more. Ashley? Well, Julie, Sheriff Neal gave out little details about this case, and that's because he says he wants people to trust law enforcement. But here's what we do know. On Sunday, a person turned in drugs, and no one got in trouble. Guess what? It happened. To all the naysayers out there. The immunity clause was put to the test over the weekend. Without giving any names or even genders, Sheriff Neal said a person came into District 5 in Anderson Township and dropped off these drugs. No questions asked. This is the first time someone trusted us enough to turn something in to us, and guess what? Nothing happened. No arrest. And this product's going to be destroyed. It's off the street. Thank God. Hallelujah. Neil says the person turned in the drugs that belong to an addicted friend who is currently in treatment. I'm assuming the addict probably expects once they get out of treatment that their instruments are still there but they're not going to be there. Dennis Dieters, the Heroin Coalition Chairman Commissioner, says the immunity clause is an important piece that will help fight the war on drugs. We need to encourage people to, to do more of this as it relates to getting, you know, obviously getting these drugs off the street, but, you know, getting help for their their loved one and, and with peace of mind that it's not going to be something that's publicized. With one immunity case now in the books, officials hope this gets people talking. It happened and it's going to happen again. There's going to be more and more coming forward. Police Department in Massachusetts, Sheriff Neal says Hamilton County is the only place that is offering this immunity clause. By the way, Sheriff Neal is running for re-election against Gary Lee. Reporting live, Ashley Zilka, 9 on your side.